Okay, now that I've talked to you about the properties, you have a job to do. That's the way it always works. There is a piece of paper that's already labeled and it looks like this. Properties of addition. I drew a nice big one for you up here. The first thing you have to do, of course, is put your name in the upper right hand corner. And then you're going to give me an example of each of these properties. So when you see the word commutative, you're going to think in your brain, commutative property, order doesn't matter. And you're going to give me an example of ordering, not mattering, in addition. Doesn't matter which one I do first. The answer is going to be the same. Do you think you can use that example? No, you have to come up with a different one. Then you have to do the identity property. The identity of four is four. If I add nothing to it, it's still four. Its identity doesn't change. And the last one for the associative property, I have to use, remember, parentheses. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This time I'm gonna group the three and the one. And let's see, this next time, I'm gonna group the one and the two. Oops, three plus one plus two does not equal four. And that would be wrong. Three plus one is four, plus two is six. One plus two is three, three plus three is six. It does not matter how I group these numbers the answer is going to stay the same. So you're going to come up with examples. Don't use mine on the piece of paper. All right? Good job.